Hey guys, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, breaking thing, hard problems down into simple problems. Um, I've just been seeing this a lot today. Uh, I just came from a uh, guitar lesson and a piano lesson and um, then I was just talking with my wife uh, just about some difficult problems that she's just trying to get her mind around. How do I deal with this situation? Um, and the answer for that and for quite a few things in the lessons was all break the problem down into smaller chunks. So um, for another example is I, me and Kay are working on our life system uh, a little bit more, just how we how we go about our daily lives, how we organize our days, and how we organize uh, all the things that we have to do. And that system is in Todoist, which is what we use as our to-do list with like tens and thousands of tasks. Um, we break them down, those tasks, the ones that are multi-step projects, into uh, subtasks. So under that task, we have subtasks, and subtasks under that sometimes, and more and more and more. Um, and that just makes it easier to delegate those tasks out or to do those tasks on our own just by knowing what those things are. So if you have a difficult project, uh, for example, it might be somebody sends you an email with, do you want to do this? Like offering a job offer or something, and you need to figure out yes, but no, you don't just not get back to them. You need to say, well, break it down in your mind, even in your to-do list. Just break it down. If I do this and this and this and this and this and call this person first, see if this will all work out, just break that down into subtasks. It makes the whole thing so much easier. You get to you get a clear mind. Um, break it down into subtasks and then you'll be able to answer that uh, if it's an email or get back to that person or it's um, whatever the problem thing is. Don't let it just freeze you. Break it down. Um, so same thing in piano or guitar when I, you know, the lessons I just came from. Um, let's say you're playing something on piano, piano and you keep on getting stuck at this one point. Just practice that, you know, break it down. Do something smaller. Don't just play the whole song over and over and over and over and over again, always stopping at that same part. You're not going to make next to any progress if you do that. It will take you like 10,000 times longer than if you just isolate the hard part. Isolate it. Just practice that a billion times over. Um, in guitar, you might be starting to learn bar chords, and it's hard. It, that's where like every guitar player stops. They just will just quit guitar if they just don't do that. So you need to just isolate the problem. Just pick one chord, B minor. Just play that B minor bar chord over and over and over and over again. Isolate it. Um, and the more you can isolate, the smaller you can break these things down into smaller and smaller chunks, the more likely you will have success. The less you will pro procrastinate. Um, procrastination is the problem in every one of these things too. I should probably label this video as this is the procrastination video. Um, don't procrastinate. Break them down into small chunks, manageable chunks. Get excited about it. Get excited about the success that you're going to see. So anyway, I'll stop my rant. Um, I hope this helps you. Please put this stuff into action. Break your projects down and isolate and just get excited about the success that you're going to have rather than getting fearful about not moving forward. All right, I will talk to you guys soon.